looking back, but keep on collecting. Welcome. What have we got today, man? <laughs> we have Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing, and it's the Swamp Thing version from the 1992... 1991. Got it wrong already. <laughs> Got it wrong already. Uh, 1991 cartoon version of, of DC Swamp Thing. Yes. Now, we recently watched the the movie, the original movie, which yes. was... 1982. 1982. Yeah, yeah. And um, we can say it was totally woeful. And <laughs> man, man in the rubber suit type stuff that was. So what we thought, um, well, we watched the cartoon, the cartoon version of yeah. Swamp Thing. And I remembered that I do have the Kenner toy collection. So uh, I thought we'd do a video and show you our toy collection. And this, this is what you got, yeah. Beautiful set. I think, um, yeah, so this was mainly based on the, like, they made the two live action movies in 82 and 89, and then they did this card, and they did a TV series as well, um, which I think were in three seasons, and this TV series, this cartoon, was like five episodes long. Yeah, so uh, I think it was probably made uh, just for the, the toys, to sell toys, so. Yeah, which yeah. Kenner were really... They're well known for that, weren't they? Yes, and, and, and nice. some of them they actually made the toys before actually doing the, the cartoon or the movie. And uh, Yeah, I think that's what the, this was done. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, I think these were released and the cartoon there was produced like to try and push the show. Yeah. So let's start off. What have we got first, Matt? Well, let's start off. Shall we start with some action figures? Okay, I'll just put this box down out of the way. Oh, so we can see your beautiful t shirt. Yes. <laughs> swamp thing. So many different types of swamp thing. Yeah, how many? You've got six different versions of the swamp thing monster. All right, so let's get into the figures. Andrew's kindly let me do rock and roll here. So we had, um, they released six different types of swamp thing. I've got to try and remember the names, and they all had like separate, um, different, unique things. This is called Snare Arm. I guess because he's had a bit of a, he can reach out there. Like that. In the cartoon, his arm kind of went out like that, and now I can't get back that, get that back in. So he's yeah, just going to. Is that ratchet it. back, or? <laughs> oh, you've just broken my figure. I've broken your figure. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it'll go back. Find it's... that in the cheap section of eBay <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, this was called Snap On, Snap Up. I don't know what this... I think actually he falls apart. So I'm not going to actually pull him apart on camera, but he actually falls apart, I think. This one's called Camouflage. Now, I think because in the cartoon, a few times he tried to blend in with his surroundings, so he kind of turned him in, himself into a tree... And so he was called Camouflage. So I don't know why he's got an axe there. Um, I'm not sure where these, this one, these weapons come from. I don't know. This one is called Capture. So his arm goes out too, doesn't it, Andrew? Yes, his arm pulls out with the little net, obviously, to catch the baddie. Yeah. And then if you squeeze his legs, he'll, oh. other than screaming, he'll actually bring oh, his arm oh, back in. I like it. So I, I don't have these figures. So this is all new and exciting for me. Um, we've got Bio Glow. Bio so glow. You can just tell that he would glow in the dark. Of course, he is that translucent paint on him. He's yeah, I, I think they used real uh, radioactive material, there, didn't they? <laughs> because he still glows after <laughs> after all these years. After forty years. <laughs> um, and I've completely forgotten. He's oh, climbing. He's the climbing one. So. Got some rope around him. I really wouldn't think why he would have to have rope because he could just use his arms to cling onto a tree. Yeah, well, that's right. In the cartoon, he's able to extend his arms and they turn into uh, uh, trees or uh, twigs Ooh. and things that sort of thing. So, yeah, why, why would he need climbing gear? I don't know. Why? <laughs> why indeed? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's uh, well, they're the Swamp Thing figures, whole six figures. We've got six other figures here, some of these. We'll go with the leader. This is um, Dr. Arcane. So he, in the first, in the pilot episode, he was actually a normal human, as you've seen in the movies. And at the end, a bit of the 
the green goo got onto his face and he kind of melted his hair and melted his face and he became this character here. So they came with these bio masks. And I think the point of the cartoon was he used the, the, the green goop and put his, his unmen into the transducer, is it? Transducer. And they we... would turn into these creatures that would look a little bit like this. That are transduced character. I don't know if that's on there properly, is it? He wants to fall I mean, as much as it can, but yeah. <laughs> so that's what, I guess this little biomask would just show, I guess it came in, you could do that. I don't know, turn him from human into unman. He called them unman, didn't he? Yeah, unman, that's right. Sorry? Yes. <laughs> so now we've got skin man. I don't know if you want me to go through each, but he became a bat. You go through for each. All right. So. Oh. We just lost the leader. The leader has fallen. Okay, so Skin Man became, well, he's still Skin Man. He just became a bat. And he flew around and he kind of grabbed, grabbed. Small children? Small, small children. <laughs> and took them back to the lair <laughs> and they ate them. <laughs> Dr. Demo, now he comes with um, this little, what do you call these things? Uh, it's a voodoo doll. A voodoo doll of the Swamp Thing. Yeah. Which was really quite cool. And you've seen that in the pilot episode too. Yes, that's right. So to actually include that in um, as an accessory in the figures is amazing. So he became a snake. But if you didn't see the pilot episode, you wouldn't know what it was, would you? No, because I don't... Well, we've only watched the first two episodes. So, oh goodness, he's a bit tight, but there you go. That's his snake. It's his snake. Snake head. Yep. And then we've got... Weed killer. The weed killer, in his gun, this goop gun, he sprayed, well, weed killer at... At, at Swamp Thing, swamp. yeah, to, to, to kill him. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know what type of creature this is. We, we can't figure it out, but he's got like eight legs and... Well, they're actually supposed to be little claws. Yeah, some sort of bug. Yeah, so I thought maybe a millipede crabby creature, I don't know. So that's, that's what he became. And... Um, these front two here are actually Swamp Thing's mates. This is Bayou Jack. Apparently, he's a, a Vietnam vet. That's what we read. Okay. Yep. Uh, I haven't really got too much, too much to tell, talk to you about Bayou Jack. I mean, he does come... These are all complete, these figures, so... Well, he does a lot a of... backpack, doesn't he? Yeah, that's right. And he, he uses a, a lot in the uh, cartoon to squirt this pink stuff around now. He does. We don't even know what it is. We don't. I don't know what, what it is. I think maybe, is that weed killer or... No, oh, well, he's a goodie. That'd have to be anti-weed killer, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, some good old-fashioned swamp water should put your fire out. It's, it's like radioactive because remember he sprays it on Swamp Thing and Swamp Thing goes, it doesn't work on me because I'm already mutated. Ah. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> Must mutate them. Um, and then we've got Tom Mahawk, who is a Native American, um, and in the cartoon speaks as such. And he comes with his crossbow with his massive arrow. Well, massive we, arrow. It's like he's shooting a plank at them. We had a laugh, didn't we? <laughs> we did indeed. Because, yeah, that really does look like he's shooting a plank at the bad guys. So. <laughs> and like his song goes, it's amazing. <laughs> shooting a plank. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's, they're the, um, the characters, and we've lost... We've lost Dr. Arcane, but we'll bring you back. Bring him back up. There he goes. Dr. Arcane is back. He has returned to action. So these are these are great. Great figures. With the collection, they also did some play sets. So this is the biggest one, and that's called the Swamp Trap. Mm. And obviously this is Swamp Thing's house, you could say. So also it's got a bit of play value there. They've got like a Venus fly trap there that they you could... Sweet. Have the baddie get in and... And snare the bad guy. Snare the bad guy. And then he will slowly be digested over a thousand years. <laughs> Imagine this kid, there's, there's all different sort of play value for it. Oh, um, so. There's a little... For, for the little Venus fire trap, there's a little thing at the back here that opens up and closes. And sna okay. uh, snares the baddie. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've got the tree. Um, yep. You've you got the top of the play set and it's got a foam there representing, say, the bog. Oh, he sure would actually... Thing. Rise out of the bog. Rise out of the bog. That's so awesome. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's got a, a, at the back here, it's got a, an area. 
Um, it's got a little tree area down here. So you can have a bit of place, play value inside. Yeah. But mostly it was obviously just to put in there and and, and, you, and you come out of the bog and... Or vice have, versa, go down into the bog. I'll go down to the bog. Well, that's right, yes. Because yes, he did that too, didn't he? Yeah, so this I won't do it all the way because this foam's yeah. pretty, pretty brittle, getting pretty brittle after... Yeah. We won't play around with that yeah, too much. After 30 years, so um, that's a, there you that's go. a great, little, great little set. Yeah, it is a good the little lead. set, that one. Swamp Trap. Mm. The Swamp Trap. So what we have, uh, another play set they've done is the Transducer. What's that torture chamber got to do with us? Ah, as men, you cannot hope to vanquish Swamp Thing. But the transducer will unleash your evil powers. You will become unmen. Mm. Now, this is the baddies play set. Yep. So what it is, we'll take the box away and have a look. And there it is in all its glory. Yes. And this is the baddie who was named... There was Dr. Arcane. Dr. Arcane. Yeah. So, and he transforms his uh, henchmen into what they called in the cartoon... Unmen, who so they become, become yep. mutated monsters. And I liked how you basically said they were, weren't were men in the first place. Anyway. Yeah, they didn't look like men. I mean, I'll get one of them out over here. So, so uh, what, what the premise was is that he transformed his um, creatures and things in into from men into these sort of bug creatures. Yeah, I mean that this this one actually wasn't in the cartoon. Well, not that we've seen no. yet. Come so, to the playset. Come but... to the playset. Whoa! Whoa! But so he's one of his uh, unmen was. Skin Man. Skin Man. Now, he, he looked pretty mutated in the first place in the cartoon. I don't, I don't know why he wanted to mutate him anymore. I know. Because I think his point was that they were a little bit weak as this this biped. And you know, he wanted to make him more mutated. So, he, strength. so he, he, he puts his formula in and, he, mm -hmm. and he, he does what he has to do. And it spins around, obviously... The other version of him would be on the other side, yeah. and then he becomes the version, uh, this version here, with that, as we've shown, with, with his sort of like a bat. Bat, maybe. yeah, became a bat. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good little set, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good little play set. I mean, it's uh, this is complete, so it did come with the figure, yeah. um, the play set itself. So, and that's that's all complete, and the and the uh, mutated the, insect, the insect or grasshopper, <laughs> grasshopper man. That's right. So there we go. Excellent set. Um, so also from the bigger play sets, they do smaller ones, going back down the line sort of thing. So they did these mid-range vehicles. This is the Bayou Blaster, Ooh. which was the uh, Anton Arcane's uh, sort of vehicle, as you could say. Yeah. So we'll take that away, and here we go. The big reveal. The big reveal. Now, it's in the cartoon, it seemed a lot bigger than this, but... Yeah. Um, obviously, for for to do it, they had to sort of condense it a bit. Um, so this what what it does in the in the the show it goes through and he's got his little cutters here, and oh, you can yeah. see them moving back and forth, and they they move back and forth like that. Oh uh, yeah, and they uh, cut the forest down. Skin man, I must find more zingle trees. It does, yes. I and, that. and Swamp Thing tries to stop them. Uh, so, yeah, so I mean, with this one, it's, it was designed for the baddie, and yep. it's got a shooting missile. Sort of thing like the uh, swamp boats you, you see in America. Oh, yeah. So the back, got the Oh, big yeah, fan. the wind fan thing. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I love those things, actually. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, those, those, uh, those swamp boats. So there you have it. Okay. It's the Bayou... The Bayou Blaster. Bayou Blaster. I'm liking that. Um, okay, and we go from the baddies vehicle to the goodies vehicle. Yeah. So Swamp Thing himself has this one called the Marsh Buggy. Yeah. And... Um, a bomb. Take it away, bomb. Take it away. Reveal. 
So this one has, uh, it's got look like jet engines. Yeah. Another thing are the, the swamp boats. Oh, because yep. everything, because he swamp thinks so everything's going to be in the swamp, I suppose. Yeah. So got a nice turning blade there. That's lovely. Yeah. And, uh, or I shouldn't say lovely, actually, with the Swamp Thing, his catchphrase is everything is amazing. It's amazing. So that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, so, there you go. So Swamp Thing, he can, I'm not sure he can really squeeze in here. You, you suppose you could squeeze him in here. I think a different version. Um, he's actually the the version they've got on the box. Yeah, snare arm. And um, so, but you'd have to sort of squeeze his legs and... Try and actually, oh, yeah, he does fit oh, in there. Okay. There you yeah. go, there so and wooden capture these um his roots claws oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're little fly roots yeah, yeah so and they actually open up and imagine he goes along and catches and the bad guy catches the bad guy and goes puts him in the bin or something like yeah. that i'm not sure what do you do with him <laughs> dunks him in the marsh <laughs> <laughs> poor thing so yeah so it's a it's a, it's a good looking vehicle yeah, I mean, these don't turn. No, they don't turn. No, they okay. don't turn. And he's, That's a pretty cool I mean, the way they've sort of uh, represented it is it's made out of the bogs, of, out yeah. of trees and things like that. So yep. I think it's it's a well-made toy there, actually. Yeah, I'm liking that too. Yeah, I think it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the final one in the vehicle range is Swamp Thing's Bog Rover. Um, it's a smaller vehicle uh, yep. made. And there you go. There he is. So this one is actually is in the cartoon. Yep. But it's actually driven by this character, Tomahawk. Yeah, it's actually done, yeah. Yeah, so they like show him turning up in it all the time. Yeah. So, but I think to sell the toy, they've used Swamp Thing. Yeah, in the art. In, in the art, art, in the box art. And uh, to show that. As you can see, his feet is actually, you can see the, uh, actually he's designed true. for actually him to stand in there like that. Yep, true. But it's not Swamp Things at all. It's Tomahawks. Go Tomahawk. Go Tomahawk. It's your vehicle. You kick him out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so obviously it's a smaller play set of the range. Yeah. yeah. Smaller vehicle, which would have been cheaper. Um, it's got a little sled on the front. Oh yeah, it swivels around. It swivels it? around, yeah, it's with the with the with that. And it looks like it's got some engines and it's got some nice yep. air scoops going in. Ooh. And it's got that swamp and um, and that tree theme again going on there. Going yeah. on there. So and that's and and again that's amazing. So there you have it. The swamp thing. The swamp thing by Kenner. By Kenner from the Cardan series. This is the whole set. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So obviously, the cartoon was only um, what was it? Five, five episodes. episodes. So obviously, not enough time to do a second series of toy line. No. Um, I'm not sure what they would have done. Obviously, they would have built something into the cartoon. I imagine something yeah. bigger. Well, and, they uh, they were missing a couple of the characters from the TV show too. I know they were missing Abigail. He's um. Because she was the girl from the movies and also the TV series. That was his stepdaughter, because it's a stepfather. So she was in it. And there was two young kids in it as well. Yeah, there was two young kids. Uh, yeah. So they, they didn't turn up. No. Uh, they in the figure line. So uh, maybe they, well, the, the kids didn't really, they did have a vehicle. Mm. It was a little bit similar to the uh, Bob Rover there. But yeah. um, I think Play Value would have been a bit boring. Yeah. So they sort of stuck to the, the more interesting type vehicles and creatures and that, which would have attracted the uh, the male market for sure. <laughs> and also the cartoon's got this crazy, oh, crazy sort of like uh, yeah. theme tune to it. It's, yeah. it's, it's a rip off of Wild Thing. For the, yeah. So the first episode, instead of Wild Thing, they sing Swamp Thing and You're Amazing. And, uh, <laughs> and by, by the second cartoon... Yeah. Obviously, they might have got done for copyright or yeah, something like that, or licensing for the song. Yeah. So they um, they cut it. They just sort of sounds like a bloke going swamp thing. He's amazing. Get into what sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. They do. Yeah. It's that. It's very catchy. <laughs> I found it. So what what what's your rating? Is this a good set, Andrew? It's amazing. So um. Good, good use of the word. Good use of the word. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so these sets are these days uh, um, 
a bit hard to find these, aren't they? They are. Trust me, I'm trying to find some of these and to get some of these characters. If they're loose and complete, you're looking at, in Australia, getting them out here, maybe $60. Oh, gee. Yeah, loose. So I can't imagine what the rest of this whole collection would be worth now. I, I know I say a lot, it's one of my prized things, but I do cherish these ones quite a lot. Yeah, it's a, be- yeah, it's a good set. I really like it. <laughs> a bit jealous. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but we're, we're collectors, we're always jealous, so. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. We always want my own <laughs> <laughs> Check out the knives in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's it. That's, that's um, another like, another great um, selection of toys that we can show, take, bring to you guys, and show you what we've got. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, Always like and subscribe, and um, hope you enjoyed the video. Yes. And uh, we'll see you again on Keep On Collecting. Yeah, guys. Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you.